Okay, this is a gonna be a quick review of the Creative 5.1 USB sound card. This is the USB cable and it plugs in right here. This is how I have it hooked to my desktop speakers right now. Wait, down there, just to show the speakers. Is the control panel. Overall, I'm pretty happy with this. It's, it's not doesn't sound as good as the desktop version of the X5 card, but it does sound pretty good compared to the laptop sound. This is your entertainment center that comes software that comes with it. This you can choose your speakers. You choose between headphones, 2.1, 4.1, and 5.1 surround sound. You have your bass settings, cut off frequency. You have your speaker volume controls between left and right. You have your sound effects. You can be like you're in a theater, or stone hall, so you echo and so forth. I don't use there. You have it has a 3D effect, so it makes it more makes the music surround you better. But it kind of ruins the quality of whatever you're listening to. If, if you have it, that kind of gives like a hollow sound to it. So I just leave it unenabled. It might be useful for gaming, but I just keep it off. You have your crystallizer, which enhances the sound of lower quality sound files. You have your equalizer. Your microphone effects and your mixer which has your line in mic jack is the same thing or what you hear which is a really useful recording utility because whatever you're listening to you can re use as like a mic input so if I was talking to somebody I wanted to send them a, a song say over Skype I can change the sound input to what you hear and they would hear whatever song I'm listening to but instead of what I'm saying or if you're recording in a game, you can use that to re as your sound input so you can record the sound of the game. Otherwise, that's pretty much the control panel. Gonna just play a quick sound. This is a rip DVD I have from my other video. This is a um, power DVD that comes with the a free download that comes with the sound card is power dvd 7 not 8 or 9 so kind of bad there but on the upper hand as far as i know it's the best power dvd because it decodes up to 5.1 that we digital DT dts surround sound this is the two audio i've ripped from the dvd this is Adobe Digital 5.1 regu regular at 448 kilobits per second. I switch it over to um, DTS 5.1 at 768 kilobits per second. And this is little is a volume knob right here. does not control this this is your separate PC sound that's just like a amplifier on the card that enhances the 
volume. Anyways, there's that. And they compare between the desktop version. This is it. This is the Pro X5, the older version, not the titanium, but the professional. <coughs> I used to have the extreme music. Only difference in this and that is a higher single to noise ratio and a um has the 64 megabytes of RAM for the sound. Pretty much the really the only difference. But in this sound. In the pro desktop version, you can get more control through your bass and treble right here. The speakers, you have different settings for your headphones if you want to mute it as soon as you plug it in. You have the THX control panel for better customization. You have you can cust make show how far your speakers are away and customize that to have more precise sound your bass management and your speaker selection and stuff you can have up to 7.1 on this you have the same audio effects greedy I have to stereo surround sound which is I guess it's it is surround sound because I can hear it go all around me, but it just adds it to the other speakers. This is kind of like what's on the other thing, and it does it span for the surround sound, which ruins the quality of the music, but this doesn't. New crystallizer. Smart volume management, which I don't use because it kind of ruins the punchiness of some music and games and stuff. Your equalizer, your mixer, which has a oh, wave center, auxiliary, MIDI, synth, CD player, microphone, and line in, and this same control, like what you hear in the thing else. So it has more than a mixer. The digital input and output and stuff right here is a different setting. Then you also have your different modes. Game mode and audio creation mode down here, yeah. Which, there are about that many different features, and you get more extra software. Right here, you get so much of software that doesn't come with that. Because this doesn't come with Power DVD. Maybe it does. Yeah, I never saw that. I'll let you know on that if I get power DVD on this too, so I have all that and it has diagnostics to test everything. And that's about That's about it between the two sound cards. The desktop does sound a little better, but for a laptop sound it doesn't it's pretty good and for all the complaints about having a delay in your sound and what you see in the video, I have none at all that I can tell. And the processor, it doesn't affect any of my games, and it really doesn't even use Fire. I'm the music program uses more processor than whatever these effects do. It might use one percent at most my processor, which doesn't do anything to performance at all. Pretty much, uh, that's the that's the creative. 5.1 USB sound card.